The VOR system is a classic for navigating via instruments, but modern technology has opened the door for new navigation tools. Our flight plan is made of multiple GPS waypoints. We can use those to guide us when we can't count on visibility. For this lesson, we're going to follow a similar trajectory as in the VOR tutorial, flying over Sumberg Airport while maintaining an altitude of 4,000 feet. The system looks very similar to the VOR on the avionics, we'll use the CDI. That's the pink arrow and bar on the HSI. Looking at our flight plan, we can see that we're supposed to arrive at the waypoint on a heading of 170. The CDI shows us if we are on our selected course. We've deviated on purpose so that you can see how to catch up to your intended trajectory. Just like with VOR, the gap between the bar and the CDI arrow shows us the direction that we need to head towards to catch up to our course. The bar is currently over to the right, so keep flying on this heading and wait for the CDI bar to start moving towards the middle. Keep us on heading 240 for now. Here it comes, now make a left turn onto heading 170. CDI bar centered and it'll take us to the waypoint. to the waypoint now. The CDI indications might become erratic or disappear when reaching a GPS waypoint, but this is normal. Keep flying straight ahead on heading 170 for a couple of miles.
practice may be a good idea. Thank you.